and one of the teams that is now on to the state semifinals uh, is Lake Dallas. The Falcons are through. Uh, they will take on Frisco Lone Star 7.30 p.m. Friday at Allen's Eagle Stadium. And here to talk to us about uh, one of the best-kept secrets in the state is the head coach of the Lake Dallas Falcons, Captain Falcon, if you will. It is, it is Michael Young. Coach Young, congratulations on your big win. Uh, I imagine 41-38 and, and Everman kind of driving there toward the end. I imagine you're breathing a little bit easier right now than you were, say, 48 hours ago. Yeah, that was a tough game. We knew it was going to be. I think we were down 10 a couple different times in the game. And uh, we, we knew we were going to have our hands full. It was probably everything that we thought. But it took us about 24 hours to get over it. Yeah, I imagine I imagine it takes a little bit of time, but you guys have been on a roll. Uh, really, you've you've rattled off eleven straight wins. Uh, what has been the key from rebounding from what was a one and two start? Well, our quarterback got hurt in our spring game, so getting back one of the best quarterbacks in the state has a lot to do with that as well. We got him back. Um, I think our fifth or sixth game, our second district game, so that was been a big part of it. Uh, we played some pretty good teams in our non-district without him. You know, Lovejoy and Frisco Centennial. And I thought getting him back made a big difference. Coach, I want to take you back to the first quarter of your game against Everman. Uh, and uh, uh, about eight minutes left in the first quarter, four minutes in, and Kier Crossley busts an 81-yard touchdown run. On the sideline, what are you thinking? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, you know, the, the problem with, with preparing for him is that we don't have anybody nearly as fast as him in practice. Yeah. So I was really worried the beginning of the game, especially even the first five, six, ten plays of his speed, of us being prepared for that. And obviously it caught us, especially on the first run. And uh, I thought we did a better job adjusting to that. He's, he's a handful. I think he's one of the better running backs that we've seen in a long time. But – uh you know, after the first run, you know, he had some. He definitely made some plays, but I thought we adjusted to his speed a lot better after the initial hit right in the face at the beginning. Yeah, you guys were down. You mentioned you were down 10 points I, I, twice in this game, but every time, it te- seems like every time you guys took a punch, you guys got right back up and, and threw a punch. I imagine from a, from a coaching perspective, watching your kids get hit and get back up is pretty satisfying for you. Yeah, it is. It's something that we really uh, preach and talk to our kids about here. It's something that we've been really good at, being resilient in games. And I told them in the locker room before the game that this was going to be one of those games where they were really going to need it. There was going to be a lot of big uh, momentum shifts in the game. Both of us, Everman and ourselves, tend to you know, score points in bunches. And I thought that was going to be a big part of it is being able to you know, change the momentum when they were able to grab it. And I thought we did a good job of that. So another speaking of overcoming adversity, uh, to take you back to a less fun time than right now, uh, last year you guys were were rolling. You guys looked fabulous heading into the playoffs, district champions, six and zero, looking like an unstoppable freight train, and then kerplunk right in the first right in the first playoff game, uh, you guys uh, you know you guys lose to to Wichita Falls in a in a heartbreaker. Uh, how have you used that experience? Uh, of that really tough first round loss last year to, to motivate your kids this year. Well, that's that's one of those games that it's not forgotten. So it's it's easy to get motivated for practice. It's easy to get motivated for off season weights when you have something like that that ended your season. Wichita Falls had a really good team. I was, that was not a great draw. I thought they were playing some really good football too. But we had some chances. We definitely should have. We thought won the game in the fourth quarter. But uh, I think really just the motivation in the off season because a game like that can, is one that you you don't forget about. We're talking to Michael Young, the head coach of the Lake Dallas Falcons here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation, hashtag DCTF Live. Coach, you mentioned him a little bit earlier. Uh, it's hard to watch your team and not be dazzled by your superstar quarterback, Dagan Hain, who has just been remarkable all year long, both with his arm and with his legs. Uh, from, a, from a coaching perspective, when you're watching him, uh, what what do you see from your quarterback that makes him so special? Well, I think he's he's above and beyond uh, his years and understanding defenses, understanding what we want to get in and out of, you know, setting up our protection, everything. You know, he's calm and cool. There was 
you know, he, things aren't going to rattle him. You know, the, he threw a ball that was tipped by a defensive lineman and intercepted. That was right after the big long run, and he's not going to get, you know, that's not going to fluster him and, and bother him. So I think that's important to have somebody like that as a quarterback or somebody the kids can look up to and see that uh, way he handles himself and prepares each week for the games. Of course, it also helps to have uh, a guy like Keegan Brewer on the outside, uh, by far one of the, the most explosive wide receivers uh, out there, at least in the DFW area, if not in the state. And for a guy who, who doesn't have the size, who doesn't have the measurables, uh, what does Keegan Brewer do that sets him apart? I think it's his ball skills. He has the best ball skills that I've seen ever a high school kid have. He and, you know, with his height, he makes up for it with his ball skills. He high points balls better than anybody. Uh, you know, he can move his body around the balls that are behind him. Or, you know, it's just uh, he has a knack and better better at that than anybody I've seen. And, you know, people know who he is and know what he's going to do. And it, he still makes plays and uh, seems to get a lot of catches and a lot of yards. That's what's amazing about it because people know, you know, they try to stop him and he just hasn't been able to – nobody's been really able to – be real successful at doing it. Your defense has been uh, really since about since those first couple, of, you know, since since those two losses back in September. Your defense has been remarkably consistent. Uh, what's been the key for your defense uh, in, in what's been this eleven game winning streak? Well, I think that we had a lot of new faces defensively, especially on the defense line, and I think those guys have done a good job of of uh, getting better each week. We knew that it would be a work in process, and they're not. You know, the, the super, you know, they're not a big group at all. They're kind of undersized, but they do a good job of playing technique and being physical and tackling. And they're, they're just they're a fun group to coach. I know our coaches really enjoy uh, watching because they love to learn and get better. And I think that's been the key with them is just getting better each week. We played a little bit better, it seems like, uh, each week through the season. Uh, we're talking with Michael Young, the head coach of the Lake Dallas Falcons here on DCTF Live. Uh, his squad will be taking on Frisco Lone Star, 7.30 p.m. Friday at Allen's Eagle Stadium. Coach, I know you're already hard at work game planning for what's a, an excellent Frisco Lone Star team. You would expect nothing less in a state semifinal. Uh, from your perspective, when you when you look at Frisco Lone Star on film, what are you seeing? Well, they, the first thing I think that kind of jumps out, they're very similar uh, offensively to kind of what we do. They remind me a lot of ourselves uh, – and, and they have just have a lot of great athletes, and not just the great athletes. I think what uh, separates them from other teams that have the athletes and the people running around is they're good up front on offense and defense line. So they're they're you know they're a team that that scores as many points as they do and kind of plays an up tempo offense, but it tends to uh, really shut people down offensively. They it seems like everybody that plays them has one of their worst outputs offensively of the year. So we're going to have our hands full there. It uh, a really it, talented, well-coached team. It should be a, a great game. And, and Coach, the, the games, obviously, as you move closer and closer to a state championship game, now here in the state semifinals, the spotlight gets bigger and bigger. The stage uh, gets bigger. Uh, how, do you, how do you preach to your kids to, to stay focused? How do you keep them in the right mindset uh, when the, the spotlight is getting brighter? Well, I, you know, that was a concern, especially last week, not playing in Texas Stadium for the first time. But I think, you know, the, the whole thing seems to go so fast that it's they don't get they don't get up, caught up in it as much as probably you would that you would think. But, uh, uh, you know, after I know they, they watched film this morning with the coaches and when they see what, a, you know, what a talented team they're playing against, I think that really focuses them, them in on uh, what's at hand, and that's playing a football game Friday night. He is Michael Young. He is the head coach of the Lake Dallas Falcons. Be sure to get out there to Allen's Eagle Stadium, 7.30 p.m. Friday night. Should be some fireworks there between Frisco Lone Star and Lake Dallas. Coach, thanks so much for for hopping on with us. Congratulations on all your success so far, and and best of luck in, in the coming weeks. All right, thank you very much. 